Hey everybody, I'm Lady Red. This is Lady Red's Tech Reviews. Today, we're going to take a quick look and unbox the Moto G Stylus 5G. Brand new from Cricut Wireless. So stay here. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Drop a comment if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell and get all the notifications for the new videos. So today, we're going to unbox the Moto G Stylus 5G, brand new at Cricut Wireless. We're going to take it out, take a quick look at it, I'm not going to go too deep into it. For pricing and availability, please contact your local retailer or look online. So let's take a look at it. And don't forget, at the very end of the video, there will be the complete specs. Okay, so what we have, we have the Moto G Stylus 5G. A 5G Android smartphone with 6.8 inch FHD plus max vision display, intelligent quad camera system with 48 megapixel main camera, up to 128 gigs of user memory, up to two days of battery life, and built in stylus. I am so looking forward to this. So, ta da! We have the device. We'll get to that in a minute. Included in every box, you will have a SIM key. You'll need this to put your SIM card and SD card in the phone. Complimentary SIM card. Volume 1 of stuff people don't read. Volume 2 of stuff people don't read. And Volume 3 of more stuff that people don't read. You have your charging block. This is going to be a high output charging block. And of course, we have Type C charging. Let's see. It's tucked up in there, but that is definitely Type C charging. Now, the long awaited moment the reveal. I have been waiting for this phone for months. We were promised a Moto 5G, an affordable Moto 5G, again for pricing and availability. Check with your local retailer or go online. However you like to shop. And we have this beautiful phone. It is a beautiful emerald green. I just love this green. Of course, we're going to have a Trick Cricket Tramp stamp. But on the back, we have our fingerprint sensor. Back on the back, as opposed to the 2021 G Stylus and G Power that were on the side. And you have your quad camera dock here with your flash on the side, volume key, power. And over here is your SIM tray. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the SIM card in it. All right, we're gonna put the SIM card in it. To do that, I have lots of people asking me how to put the SIM card in. Just take the key, put it in that little hole right there. You'll feel a switch when it pops out. Do this over a table, so if you drop it, you don't lose it. You just pull it out like that. And that's also where your micro SD card is gonna go. Now this is gonna be a tight fit so don't force it, it will only fit one way. You just gotta be smooth with it. All right, now on the bottom, we've got Type-C charging, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, bottom firing speaker, and spring-loaded stylus. Stylus only fits one way, so be careful putting it back in, that you put it back in correctly because it can get stuck. And on the top, we just have your little microphone there. So let's power it up and see what it's all about. All right, so I've got the phone all set up. I've got apps downloading here in the background because I did bring in one of my backups. And what we're going to do now, I'm just going to take a quick look in the settings. 
Okay, now dark mode is turned on because I did bring in a backup from another device in which I use dark mode. Um, network and internet. Same basic stuff. Mobile hotspot is available. Um, we will see here. We have connection preferences. Bluetooth cast is available with this one. Um, nearby Share and Android Auto will also be available on the Moto G Stylus 5G. That's becoming uh, more of an in-demand feature. And I'm glad to see it on a budget device. Even if it is like a high-end budget, I'm glad to see it here. Because it's something kind of new for us that uh, we don't typically get uh, with the, you know, under $500 phones. So, apps and notifications. Let's see what we're getting... We're supposed to be receiving less bloatware on our devices from Cricut. Um, let's see how that has gone over. There. Okay, we've got added up, which is a Cricut sponsored thing. Um, that is just something Cricut does to help you get money off of your account. If you don't want it, just uninstall it. That easy. If you don't use it, definitely take it out of your phone. Uh, Amazon, that's pretty standard. Android Auto, I'm so glad to see that. Audible is something new. Um, we haven't had that in the past. Um, so far, pretty standard stuff. I do advise making sure your Chrome notifications are turned off, and that's where you would do that. You can get some pretty foul notifications from Chrome. Uh, camera, clock, coloring book, all of that is supposed to be here. Cricut Partner tab, I do advise disabling that. It does jam your phone up just a bit. Data transfer tool, you'll definitely need to leave that alone. Farm Heroes, we just can't get away from the Farm Heroes. Take that out. So far though, I am noticing less bloatware, believe it or not. There is a lot less bloatware so far. Um, HBO Max is mine. Hulu is mine. That came in from a backup. Instagram came in from a backup. LinkedIn, bloatware. That is certainly bloatware. And Netflix came in from a backup. My Cricut, you kind of need that. Pandora, bloatware. I use Spotify. And let's see what else we got here. Um, Moto Note, Game Time, Pet Rescue, Bookware. Even though I have taken out a few apps and um, tag, tagged them as bloatware, believe it or not, it's about twice as much less. Um, in the past, I've been seeing upwards of 20 games added onto these phones. And I'm so glad that this one doesn't have that many. Uh, Stitch Fix. Bloatware. Don't use that. I do use Spotify. That is mine. That did come in from a backup. Pluto. Free TV. If you don't use it, guess what? It's bloatware. The scoop. Turn it off. It will drive you absolutely insane. Make sure the notifications are off. No permissions. Storage of cash. Turn off mobile data usage. And then disable it. So, let's check it one more time. See if anything else came in that I don't want. And uh, I, this looks really good. Um, bravo, Cricut, for removing a lot of that bloatware. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, you can um, reference older unboxings. And you'll see exactly what I mean by this is so much less than we've been seeing in previous devices. Um... This is where you're going to be able to see your battery usage details. Uh, we're not even going to get into that right now because it's still setting up and uh, downloading. So the phone's working pretty hard right now. Um, it says apps are running normally. You can turn your... I, I like the adaptive battery feature. That limits um, the battery usage for apps kicking on in the background that you're not going to be using a whole lot. Uh, so that's a pretty good feature. I really like that feature. Um, optimized charging for increased lifespan and performance. This is something new. I like this. That's good. Good stuff. 
use optimized charging let's just go ahead and flip that on i do advise got it come on there we go i do advise not charging your phone down until you you know kill it get it down below five percent before you plug it in or you will ruin your battery overcharge protection oh this is nice i like this way to go bras oh motorola i this is why i'm a motorola fangirl you know motorola gives you a lot of control over your device and that that is that is important to me um i don't want my phone to control me i want to control my phone lock screen i didn't have to say three finger screenshot swipe to split still can't use that one screen record oh my god this might do it this might be the selling point for me screen record without having to download a third party app thank you thank you thank you thank you gods of android gods of motorola thank you for giving me screen record without having to download another app thank you of storage with 128 gigs and as you can see i've already downloaded several apps and i've got lots of space left and i also have a puppy named flicka and that's who you hear running around in the background she's kind of a big dog she's an akita uh, security this is where you're going to be able to set up your uh, find my device I do advise using this this is a very handy little tool um, not only to find your device if you just happen to lose it in the house or somewhere or leave it in the car or left it at work um, but if somebody steals your phone that's one way you can find it um, they'll tell you your Google Play system update screen lock this is where you'll set your screen lock uh, if you use a fingerprint or face unlock, you will need to use a secondary screen lock to go with it. So just keep that in mind. And now we're going to show SIM card lock. This is fantastic feature. I love this. Um, Cricut, it will tell you whether or not your device is locked to a carrier. If it's SIM lock, that is fantastic. No device admin apps. Awesome. Moving right along, um, accounts, standards, accessibility. I always make sure swipe to split is on, and I am still not handy at using that one, even though I have the Motorola G Stylus 2021. I turned it on, still can't use it. I've never gotten it to really work. Um, just probably not that coordinated. Um, touch and hold this delay. You can set, set all of that right here. All right. Your stylus features are here. Um, whatever you want to do with your stylus, this is where you would set that up. Personal preferences and all that. Google is Google. That's nothing more to be said. Google is Google. System updates. This is where you want to check and make sure. If you are having, let's say, performance issues, then definitely check and see if you have some updates. Because uh, that could be the problem. And help, I've never actually used it. System, let's see what we can learn here. Nothing. Adaptive performance, I do enjoy the adaptive performance feature. That's an AI feature and it sort of gets used to you, like your phone gets to know you and it's gonna do the stuff you want it to do. About phone, let's see what we got here. Moto G Stylus, there's not even a phone number, it's a dead SIM card that's in it. SIM status for Cricut, software channel, Cricut, um, hardware, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, 24 by 1080 display, and there are your camera specs. Your front 16 megapixel, rear 48 by 2 by 8 by 5, and again, there will be full specs at the end of this video, so be sure you stay here if you want to check those out. And it's also my favorite part of making videos. All right, Android version 11, Android 11. Now, um, in the past with the Cricut Ovation 2, I did not enjoy Android 11 because I didn't really see the point, but this one has a lot more features. Um, bravo, Motorola, that's why you're my favorite. And Motorola is also the only device I have seen that if you go ahead and put your Google account on there, when you first set up the phone, you do not have to do the second setup, which makes me very happy. 
Because if you've ever watched my channel, you know I hate the second setup with a bloody passion. All right. Now we've got a lot of stuff downloaded. So to get to your apps, just flick up from the bottom. It's just your navigation. Um, most phones manufactured 2020 and newer are going to be gesture navigation based. If you want to change it back to the three buttons, then it's a very simple way of doing that in the settings. There we go. To change from gesture navigation back, back to the three buttons, click gestures. And right here, system navigation. And this is where you can switch it back to the three buttons. I'm so used to the gestures. I do prefer gesture navigation. So that's what we have. And there's a lot more you can do that, do in here. The fast flashlight where you turn it on just like that by shaking it. Um, oops. Uh, show device controls with the power menu. Most people don't bother with that. It's not that big a deal. Um, three finger screenshot, another of my favorite features that is only available with Motorola. You put three fingers on the screen, you take a screenshot. Um, quick capture. I had to turn that off because I was taking pictures of everything because I talk with my hands and my phone's usually in my hands. So prevent ringing um, on you can vibe, set it to vibrate or mute. Depends. Press power up, power and volume up together, and it'll automatically mute it. So if you've got it in your hand and you're talking to somebody, you don't want to be bothered, just squeeze those. Just, just give it a, a nice little, uh, just like that. I might be in love with this phone. This might be my new favorite. I might be in love with this phone. Over here, you got your Google Launcher. Maybe I'm a little bit of a Trekkie. Let's check out the camera. Now, by the specs, judging from the specs, this is the same camera that I have on my G-Stylus 2021, and it definitely looks the same. If that is the case, I'm not going to get super deep into it. If you would like to see more details, uh, just refer to the G-Stylus 2021 video. For the sake of time, I'm not going that far into it um, with this one because it is the exact same camera setup. It does look different, but it's the same. It just looks different. You know, little changes. But there it is, y'all. I think I have a new favorite, and I think I might be upgrading. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just digging it. I, really, I am digging this phone. Tell me, what y'all think about it? Let me know down here in the comments. And as always, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell and get the notifications for the new videos. I work real hard at getting videos out for y'all. And uh, stay here and watch the spec screen. It's my favorite part of making videos. So stay here and take a look at it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.